All right, hey guys, welcome to your unique devotion for the day. Uh, today, I am reading John chapter 6, uh, verses, let's see, 22 through 40. This is entitled, The Bread from Heaven. It's a little on the long side, so I'm just going right in. Here we go. John chapter 6, start in verse 22. On the following day, when the people who were standing on the other side of the sea saw that there was no other boat there except that one which his disciples had entered, and that Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples, but his disciples had gone away alone. However, their boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they ate bread after the Lord had given thanks. When the people, therefore, saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they also got into the boats and came to Capernaum, seeking Jesus. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly, I say to you, You seek me, not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures and to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has sent his seal on him. Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who sent, who he sent. Therefore they said to him, What sign will you perform then, that we may see it and believe you? What work will you do? Our fathers ate the manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will be by no means cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all he gives me, I should lose nothing, but should rise it, raise it up at the last day. And this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who seeks the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. There's some really, oh, there's always cool stuff, but it's neat that Jesus, he wants us to be fulfilled. He wants us to partake of this bread. You know, he wants us to not lose anything, but to keep it and keep growing it to raise it up on the last day. And that is to, to raise it up, like raise it to God, you know, as a, as a thanksgiving, as a gratitude, um, and the same, he wants to raise us up. He wants to raise us up in gratitude for his Father. So there's some interesting things going on there. But what comes on my heart, here's sharing time. Do you believe in the true bread of life? Do you believe in him? Capital H. Um... There's a little side note down here I'd like to read quick. It says, The word true has a special meaning. Jesus refers to what is everlasting and eternal as opposed to something merely representative. The bread God provided through Moses was only material and temporary, not spiritual and eternal. So, 
do you believe in the true bread of life? Do you believe in what Jesus is bringing to you, what he's doing in your life through the power of the Holy Spirit? It's not temporary. What he's trying to do is build you up, raise you up, so that he can, you can raise up everything that God has given you in, your, in the last day in your life. And at the same time, Jesus then can raise you up. So Jesus raises you up to God. Then above him, above yourself, you raise up everything that God has given you. It's everyone is being grateful to God and uh, showing, showing God how much, how much they've accumulated because of him and only because of him. Um, it's not about getting stuff. So don't, uh, yes, stuff falls into that category, but it's not just about stuff. It's all, it's probably more about the heart and the control of oneself and the, the communication that's built between you and God is how strong that is that you can raise that up. That is probably first and foremost, uh, what God will be looking for in that last day, so to speak. But everything and all the stuff that you've accumulated too, to be grateful for what he's given you and use it wisely, not greedily, <laughs> that's a word, um, is, is just as important. There's, I, there's, there's a, little two, a couple different things going on there. I'm not necessarily sure that one is more important, but it sure feels like the internal is more important than the out external. So, just stuff to think about. That's what God has put in my heart for the day. It's what I'm going to think about. Um, I hope that you see something in that scripture that God's trying to talk to you about. And I encourage you to communicate with him today on that. Till tomorrow, I hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve today. And even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day.